Welcome to H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is a e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia, United States. We provide 100% job-oriented, instructor-led, face-to-face, true live online software training programs. It also includes access to Cloud Test Lab with software tools. We provide live project for you to work on. We also provide assistance with mock interviews, resume preparation and review, and job placement assistance. H2K Infosys is trusted by so many students across the world. H2K Infosys provides world-class services in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals, special IT training for MS students in the United States, software design development, QA manual and automation, performance testing and maintenance, IT staff augmentation, job placement assistance and tech support. In this video, we will see the types of output value. The purpose of output value is to capture dynamic values generated by an application. You can capture output value by using any of the following different types of output values. The first one is called the standard output value. This captures any dynamic string generated by your application. The next type is called the file content output value. This is used to capture the content of any kind of file. For example, HTML, Microsoft Word, text, PDF, any kind of file. The next one is called table output values. This is used to capture any specific row or column or cell of your table. Suppose there is a table and you need to capture the dynamic values in a certain row or column, the table output values are used. The next kind is called the text and the text area output values. The text output value is used to capture any string which is generated by the application. The text area output value is used to capture any string within a specified defined area of your screen. The next kind is called the database output value. Database output values are used to capture the contents of database cells based on the results of a query that is defined on a database. XML output values. XML output values are used to capture and output the values of XML elements and attributes in XML documents. Now let's see how to insert an output value in UFT. Go to design, click on output value and it displays all the different kinds of output values and you select the kind of output value that you want to insert into the application. To know more about output values, you can watch our videos on how to capture text output value and other types of output values. So many of our students have given testimonials on how our training programs are. You will find them on kudzu.com and on our website h2kinfosys.com. On our website h2kinfosys.com, you will also find more detailed information on who we are, the courses that we offer, what each course covers. Also, if you are interested in a demo program, please register on our home page on the left hand side. Just give us more information about yourself and we will send you a link for a demo class. 
The demo class is absolutely free. Experience our commitment by just attending an orientation workshop at no cost. Our team of faculty and advisors are here to guide you with the right information. If you still have more questions, please feel free to call us. Call us at 770-777-1269. This is a United States number. If you're calling from the UK, call us at 020-337-17615 You can also email us at training at h2kinfosys.com or h2kinfosys at gmail.com Thank you for watching our videos. We wish you a great career in information technology.